Yo, what's up, Chaos TV family? What's up, Chaos TV Network? It's your boy, Chaos here, and here again with another episode of Top Down Throwdown. Today, we're going into the Link era officially, so we're going to be using a lot of Link summoning styles and Link summoning decks, so be sure to look out for a lot of stuff. So today, we're going to be using two Link archetypes. I'm going to be using my Cybers uh, Code of the Duelist Structure Deck build against... Uh, one of my other co uh, cohorts, um, Pre Mark Nine's uh, hey. world, uh, world Chalice uh, Link build. So as you can see, the Link Summoning mat is here. As I said I told y'all before we're going to Link Summoning area together. So like I said, if you like what we do, hit that like button and subscribe. And remember to seek the Holy Chalice as every hunter before you. <laughs> Rolling. To. Up to you goes first. I will go fist. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. This is rock and roll. Let's see what we got. Hopefully we make magic. Alright. Um, Pro magic. Alright. Some magic. target of Cypress in your graveyard. Special summon it. And you can't do it because you don't already have a monster target. No, no, I wasn't tributing that. I was even hurt. To get out. You need two? I need two. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, that's not... I mean, so, are you going to use them both? Yes. Okay, I was going to say. Like, what are you doing? Honey box. What are you doing? Man, break two cards face down and T. Raw. Interesting. So, of course, I'm going to be mean and play Dank, dank Hole. Dank Hole. Cool. And then we're going to play Rescue Bun. Dank Hole. Save you. So, we're going to remove it from play to summon. Beckoned by the World Chalice. But they're destroyed at the end phase. Or they would be if they were actually on the field. But they won't be. Mysterious. Arm two world chalice, and I'm gonna attack with two thousand. Gonna chain anything? Um, careful. Ah, and this card. Wait, stop. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you special on the world chalice monster in your hand. Summon. Round. Main phase two. Link summon. Nim duck. Nim duck's on the field. I can link. I can. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Venus chain. Such a rude play. Here go. I have nothing. You do know you can tag me. I'm naked, right? That's main phase two. Oh, right. I had to do that after you play Mirror Force, so no, I can't. Okay. Almost summon. Yeah, that thing's only got a mirror 800. Attack. It's dead. I take four. I'm at 76. Its effect activates. Special summon crowned. Anything further? Nope. Just in there. Draw. I have another bun. Negate its effect. Yeah, here's the thing, though. It's banishing itself as a cost. Oh. Yeah, so that's the thing. I mean, you can still do it, but banishing itself is a cost. Oh. So it does that first, and then, since it's no longer on the field, Phoenix Chain won't work on it. And summon two crowned by the world chalice. This is my favorite part of the program, ladies and gentlemen. So we link into spider, spooter. Spooter. Link. Phoenix chain on what? Yeah, it's spooter. Okay, that was a bad idea because I'm going to summon it. Ooh, Ib. And Ib is linked to Link Spider. This Link card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Your opponent cannot target this Link card with card effects. Well, it wouldn't have mattered. You couldn't play Phoenix Chain on it anyway because its own effect would protect it. Yeah. Uh, but I also can't attack with Link Spider, so that kind of, that's a bummer. Hit for 600. He may go. Rigo net. In turn. Ooh. Oh, you mean Cypress. Yeah. Cypress, sorry. Yeah. Draw. Uh, that'll stay void. Normal summon. 
Yes, I just normal summoned that. I can't believe I did that either. <laughs> um, but it's not staying because Link's him. Into Gaia Saber, the Lightning Shadow. The Lightning Shadow? What were they thinking when they made this? Uh, I mean, think about it. It's Thunder, Nature. When this face-up card, when this normal summon, if this face-up normal summon or set card leaves the field, you can special summon two World Chalice from your deck, except World Legacy World Chalice. This card is sent from the field to the grave, special summon the World Chalice from the hand. So this comes from the hand, and then the uh, World Legacy, Special Lee, Lee searches that, and Special Summon... I don't really have a lot of other targets, so I'll just special summon another guard dragon. Then let me use your field spell. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna use a put link spider back because I only have an, I only have two of them because I only need two. But I'm gonna. What? You gonna play a turn? No, it's the turn play. It's uh, Return a Monster in the Graveyard. That's the thing that makes that card good, is that you can use it on anything. Uh, link into Ib. Because uh, two monsters with different types and attributes from each other. Light Fairy and a Wind Dragon. Then, we're going to send these two to the grave. An Earth Machine and a Wind Dragon. Main phase two, though. I'm actually going to attack first. Uh, 2600 plus 3, so that brings you down from 74 to, okay, so you to 45, then attack with 29, so bring you down to 24, main phase 2, link these off into another Ib, they protect each other, they can't be destroyed by battle or by card effects, activate the effect of World Chalice Guardian, Banish this card from your graveyard, target a normal monster in your grave, and special summon it in defense position to a zone a link monster on my side of the field points to. So I special summon Crowned. It's funny because Crowned is Ib. You! Okay. That protection. Draco Net. Oh no. No. Don't do it. No. Activate. Cynets. Yep. Shuffle into the deck. Mm, put this back in the deck. Okay, okay. Shuffle up your lines. Oh no. Right. I have a mutual link. That double lib combo is nice, but it's not broken because got to use a spider spooter. And spooter gets out. Honeybot? Yeah, but then again, I don't... Honeybot will be strong enough to beat the, to at least do damage to me, but... Yeah, other than that, I could just tack over all your stuff. Okay. It's at uh, 20, 22 versus 21, so I take 100. Mm -hmm. And that'll leave me a 73. Anything else? Mm, no. Wait, why is Honeybot summoned here? Because you... Oh, oh, I thought you were doing that on purpose. Link Spider will allow you to put it there. Oh. Did you want to put it there? I mean, that's a good place yeah, to yeah. put it because of the markers. Yeah. Okay. I'm just saying. Yeah, but you're allowed to do that. Done? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, here we go. I'm going to do something stupid. Um, yeah. I'm just, we're going to do it. Summon Ningirsu. Yeah, right there. Ningirsu's effect, I can, uh, then both of the Ibs resolve. When the Ibs go from the field to the grave, especially some World Chalice from the hand, I'm only going to resolve one of them. Then Ningirsu's effect, I get to draw a card for every World Chalice that's currently linked to it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use your Field Spells effect to put Ibs back into my extra deck, because that's my, oh, that's all three of them. I played all three of them. Jesus. Then I'm going to MST your Field Spell. Jesus. And it does something. Hang on, let me read this. It just returns. Uh, no, send all monsters in the extra monster zones. There's nothing in the extra monster zones because we've used links to circumvent that. Hmm. Uh, I have not normal summoned yet, so I will. Once per turn, I can send a card on each side of the field to the grave, send Honeybot, send this. Get Lee, Lee searches. And actually, I only have one other target, which would be another Lee. But you're at 24, so we're going to go out with a bang, quite literally. Top logic, bomber, dragon, push for game. Jesus. All right. 
Look at this. We both uh, we both did pretty good. But man, I, I summoned half my extra. Actually, if I think about it, because I put some of my cards back, I summoned over half of my extra deck in one duel. Yeah, sign that helps it. Yeah. The only reason I don't run that in my own deck is because this archetype has its own field spell. If it didn't, I would probably be running it in my deck. But, basically, uh, my version of Sky Iris, basically. Uh-huh. So, like, Sky Iris is that card. It's like, yeah, you can technically play it. It can help both players, so you got to be careful. Yeah, when you play it, too. Okay. Check set up. Uh, since I lost, I will go last. Oh, so I get first turn. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Put my extra deck away. Good lord. I haven't summoned this many cards out of the extra deck before in a long time. Not since I played Herotics. I played Herotics back when those were back before Link Era. And they were busted. Well, they weren't busted, but they were pretty good. Um... I don't even know what I can do with this. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. So, World Legacy, World Chalice. All World Chalice gain 300 attack and defense. Once per turn, if a face-up World Chalice monster I control is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of your opponent's card effect, I can target a World Chalice in the grave and bring it back in defense. Normal Summon Phantom Sky Blaster. When it's summoned, I get a token for every monster I can... Any number of Sky Blaster tokens, but no more than the number of monsters I control. So, I only get one. Uh, they're Dark Fiends, and they're 500 attack and defense. Send the token to the graveyard to play Link Spooter. So I have an Earth Cybers and a Dark Fiend. Send these to the grave to summon Ib, the World Child's Priestess. Link down. And that was my normal summon. So, so you don't have to summon Link Monsters there? You just... Well, basically because I had Link Spider right here, the mm -hmm. Link Marker for Link Spider points down, so I'm using, when I did the Link Summon, I put it in that zone oh, where it was so pointing to. Right. And that's what that's what you were doing. So, go ahead. Okay. She's at 21, but because nothing is linked to her, she's not protected like she usually is when I play her. All right. Let me see that dark hole. Nope. Oops. Uh, Bitron. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boy, he about to do it. You got to do Now, if you look closely, ladies and gentlemen, my friend uh, Chaos Hero is about to do it. Because he is a boy, contrary to what you may think. Mm. Thankfully, my field spell is giving me just enough edge to get over that yeah. if you play Pony Bot, because it's at 21. 21. Okay. Bottoms up, bottoms up. Out of play. Yeah. So it seems, so it seems. Now what? I am going to put one card face down and ET. Bro, that's, um, I'm not sure how to feel about that. Um, I'm going to attack with 21. Call the Haunted. Okie dokie. Uh, Are you sure? I mean, you can do it after the battle phase. Yeah, I'm cool, man. Yeah, I mean, I mean, otherwise I just get a replay out tactic anyway. Uh -huh. So, 21, I'm going to end the battle phase, set a monster in defense, and end turn. Bottoms up, bottoms up. Fan <sighs> Clatter tributes itself, special summon a cyber from your grave. Purpose it. Mile of purpose it. Being fire. Purpose it. Mile of purpose it. Being fire. Repose it. Got a repose it. Chase the check. And chase it. Chain. Alright. So it's at 19, but this is at 21 because my field spell. I know. So now what? Go. Um, top deck. That's interesting. We're going to do flip. Uh -huh. And a normal. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send both of these to the graveyard to summon arm. Ooh. Ooh. And this card has to be sent from the field to the grave for me to get the free special summon, so that sucks. 
Uh, Jar Avarice. Hey, look at you. You get to mow down one of my other honey bots. I have exactly five cards after that. Yeah, but you, you you did make a pretty smart choice to do that. But to be perfectly honest, you putting Honeybot right there did kind of screw me up. Because I kind of wanted to put Arm in that zone, so, you know, that kind of sucks for me. But. Uh, attack and free up the space for the next turn. Uh, and then I draw a card. Target five cards in the grave. Except Jar of Avarice. That's neat. It doesn't say it has to be a monster, which is convenient. Now, I already normal summoned, so I attack with for 200 damage. I haven't damaged you yet, have I? No. Uh, well, I got that direct attack earlier, so you were at 59. So now you're at 57 ET. Great go, Nat. Oh, boy. Go ahead. To see normal monster out of the grave. Yeah. I mean, it says the normal, uh, level to or lower mon normal monster from your hand or deck in the deck position. What is that? That thing's dark attribute is too bad. Okay, keep going. Nothing. Told you. Oops, sorry, my bad. Yeah, what I'm about to do with you is not nice, but I, I'm literally working bad, so mind control. Damn. Stop logic. Yeah, it's game. <laughs> You're just gonna fold it? Because I can't come back from that. Yeah. This is all I had in my hand. I drew that the first turn. Oh, that's... All uh, three of my bitch nah, runs in my hand. Nah, nah, all that's three not, of my I bitch runs in my hand. I had that one. No, that's a, game. that's a wrap. Yeah, I was like, I had that's all three bitch runs in my hand. I'm like, why are y'all You here? know what sucked is that I had these in my hand. I'm like, I already have the field spell. I'm, I was actually kind of hoping you would play MST or something. I'm like, I might lose my late monster, but sh I got another one of these. Uh, that was... Uh, yeah, but you really. bricked real bad. That's, That's the only thing I don't like about this thing. It breaks so heavy. Uh, hopefully when the Decode Talker archetype comes out. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm sorry that uh, if it wasn't too entertaining, but I hope you guys have fun. If you're interested in seeing how Link Summoning worked, I hope this was helpful. And uh, thank you so much for watching Chaos TV. This is Mark 9 with Chaos Hero. Hey. Signing out. Have a great day. I know it.